Hi, I'm Dr. Von Skatsenaris, and I'd like to talk to you today about some common questions I get um, from, a, uh, from my patients. And the most common question I get is, what type of exercise can I do to avoid injuring my lower back or to avoid further injuring my low back? And the number one question, answer that I give to my patients is, avoid any type of exercises that involve machines. Now, machines are actually detrimental in the rehab exercise world. Uh, the reason being is they only allow for single planar movement. Uh, when we walk and twist and turn, I mean, that's a multi-planar motion. And if machines limit that, we're not getting full use of our muscles. Second of all, we're not getting full active ranges of motion of our lower back muscles, which is important. Um, and that will limit the type of rehab and the exercises that we'll do. So, what I'd like to do now is take you to the gym and show you four or five exercises that you can avoid while you're working out. Alright, so the first machine that I want to show you guys is the knee extension machine. What this does is basically, you sit down and you're pulling forward. What that does is it actually is working just on your quadricep muscles. And you're putting a shearing force from your femur to your tibia. And what ends up happening is you're not getting an equal balance from your quad muscles to your hamstrings as far as from a rehab standpoint or from a strength and conditioning standpoint. So these machines avoid at all costs. This machine right here, the sled, very popular. They've got them all over the place in about every single uh, weight room out there. What this does is it puts a lot of pressure on your quads and your hips. But what happens is it relieves a lot of the tension from your low back. So when you're sitting down doing this, you're relaxed. There's no pressure in your low back, your hips, and all you're doing is lifting your legs. There's guys that can stack 10 plates on one side, 10 on the other, but yet they can't do a single squat three weights. Uh, with 40, 50 pounds. But yet they're able to put 500 pounds on this machine and push as hard as they can. That's going to create a lot of pressure and stress on your low back and on your hip flexors, which will create problems down the road. Definitely avoid that. Okay, another exercise to avoid is the Smithson machine. As I mentioned before, utilizing the machine, you're only allowing for single planar movement. So if you watch this, this will only go up and down vertical. Your body moves at different angles. And if you're limiting yourself from just strictly vertical, you're not getting any other planar movements from either twisting, turning, in order to help your low back. This will now limit you, which will create more problems. So the last exercise that we want to avoid, and everyone does this, is the abdominal crunch. Now everyone loves a six pack, they look great, but the problem is you're only utilizing six muscles. The muscles that actually help tighten up your, your belly and actually support your low back are your love handles. Your love handles start on the side and go all the way to your back. The only way to get those is by rotational type of exercises or twisting type of movement. Now when you're doing ab crunches, what's happening You're straining your neck, and you're actually using, utilizing your hip flexor muscles, which pull on your back. Your hip flexors start here, go straight through your back, and pull on your lower back through the front. So this movement puts a lot of stress and pressure on your lower back. Something that's better that you could utilize is the rotational movement with the barbell and the plate, or side movement that will actually get the love handles. Once this tightens up, that'll help stabilize your low back and help alleviate a lot of the problems. So another re exercise that I don't recommend are the hip abductors and the adductors. And just as the other equipment, all they do is work in a single planar movement. And they don't allow for rotational movement, which is important in the hips. So this one that spreads your leg outward, and the other one that brings your leg inward, actually avoid those like the plate.
want to say what I want to say I want to feel how I want me to feel I want to do what no one else has done Somehow I realize that I want too much I want to go and open